Hi everybody, all my followers, be welcome to another video. Right, a slightly different video here today, a little bit more relaxing, just I'm waiting for parts at the moment, the weather is not very good, so I just thought I'll get this done. Right, what is this about? Title, thumbnail, one of the things we'll uh, take you through, uh, we'll uh, give you a clue. Uh, that said, nothing really rocket science, uh, it's just to make my life easier in the future. Um, and I'll tell you the story. So, and what's the story here? Story here. Story here. Really? So, and what's the story? So the story is actually quite simple and straightforward. Um, I was asked to have a look at this uh, car. Uh, 2010, I believe, BMW F10, the 520 diesel. Uh, this car had a problem, a mechanical problem with the gearbox. And this garage uh, replaced the gearbox with a second hand. Uh, gearbox car started fine everything was fine however the car would not engage gear the reason why these cars don't engage gear uh, this actually applies to other models uh, is not just the F uh, series there's some E series that do the same some G series etc etc uh, so the car starts but fails to engage gear that's because um, the the box is kind of part of the immobilizing system so it will allow you to start the car, but you won't be able to engage gears. So what you need to do to uh, get the car back to engaging gears is you need to reset the gearbox as if it was a brand new gearbox. When you do that, as soon as, we, as soon as you install the gearbox again, there is a quick procedure you need to do, uh, but that's not what this video is about. Um, you do that and basically the car sees, sees that the gearbox is blank or is virginized, is reset, whatever you want to call it. And what the car does is it sends the ISN again into the gearbox, which is going to be the new ISN, obviously. And as soon as you do that, the car will start to engage gears and is drivable again. So when I was asked to look at that, I didn't have the IM608. The Maxi sees is quite obsolete is no <laughs> let me change that word uh, the the maxi sees is very unhelpful when it comes to immobilizer systems especially on bmw uh, so i went there the first time with the, the maxi sees i flashed the entire car not just the the gearbox i flashed i think was loads of stuff that was out uh, um outdated it was flash cast dme uh, junction box a gear selector cluster uh, was loads of stuff. I've been there a couple of hours updating the car. Uh, I was pretty much convinced that wouldn't fix the problem, which it didn't. Um, so I got rid of all the codings that was on the gearbox and other modules for wrong coding, uh, wrong VIN number, etc. etc. All that the Maxis is sorted that out. But it failed obviously to uh, sort the immobilizer system. So from there, um, what I decided to do was. I did some research and the tools I could find to do that particular job, they were very BMW de dedicated. So they were tools just for BMWs. Uh, they would do that, they would do a little bit more stuff on BMW, but it was just for BMWs. I had the IM608 under my radar for a long time. I, 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 I mentioned that on the presentation video when I showed you the tool. Uh, and I just thought, you know what, if that tool can do the job, I think that's the excuse I was looking for to go and buy it. So, interestingly enough, I contacted a few people, well, I contacted one person at least that I knew for a fact that had the tool. I asked him to check because let's, let's be honest, I didn't want to spend the money unless I really had to. Um, so I asked one person to have a look, um, Long story short, he never he was very unhelpful. If not unhelpful, but he didn't really help. Uh, so I've sent a bunch of emails uh, to all the sellers. I could not all of them, but I've sent a bunch of emails to a few sellers uh, asking if that if the IM608 was capable of doing uh, this particular reset. Uh, I got one reply. Believe me or not, I got one reply. Uh, I could go through my emails and show you, but I got one reply, and I got one reply, I think was one day after I bought the tool. I, I remember I bought the tool a Sunday night, if I'm not mistaken, and I was at work, 
when I when I came for my first break and I saw the email and the email was saying that unfortunately the tool is not capable of doing such such a job oh guys you can imagine you can I'm sure you can imagine I was so ah oh, I just thought what uh, I bought the tool on a leap of faith that you would be able to do it uh, and I just thought what a mistake I've done obviously I will still have the tool but not for that particular job I wanted, I wanted to get done interestingly enough I think it was actually on the same day I got an email from the same person apologizing that they looked wrong and actually the tool was capable of doing it and I, I do now confirm that it did the job because I got it done however let me show you something so the way uh, the IM608 connects to that gearbox is with the gearbox out of the car okay so that's how the reset is done so I've asked the guys uh, that I did the job for to bring me the old mechatronics okay <laughs> oh funny enough it still has the wire in there I was using to connect <laughs> they never took it off oh it's crab in there I'm gonna have to pull this out there you go okay so because so the way I did it was with small things small of these connectors uh, I did all the connections first on the old gearbox uh, or mechatronics which is this one here and I attempt the reset on this one first before I do the, the, the other one just in case but when I did it I did it on there and it worked fine uh, and then I did it on the car um, was a little bit of a tricky thing to connect on the car as you can see from from this picture here uh, so yeah as you can see it was a little bit tricky to do um, I had to be very careful make all the connections and I just thought you know what if I ever come across this problem again I definitely don't, don't want to be on this situation again where I have to pull the wires like that oh sorry about that guys uh, it was it was not easy to do um, very fiddling with everything so I just thought I'm gonna have to do something about it so if I ever come across this problem again it's gonna be way way simpler so I got a package from Germany okay um, could could come from UK uh, UK they really rip you off on this so I just thought you know what I waited a little bit longer but I got this from Germany and what is this this is a package <laughs> so I'm gonna show you what this is and I'm, I'm pretty sure as soon as I show you what this is you guys where is the other you guys will straight away know what we are going to do so I'm gonna unwrap this and then we'll carry on and nearly there Aha. right so here it is what is this guys this is a loom for the gearbox of a F10 that's it uh, but what I was looking for so it comes with the everything for the relays etc etc all the connections up to the junction box that's uh, the top on the left hand side of the car I believe it is so it comes with everything to plug in there I'm not interested on this I'm interested on this so you guys I'm sure you know now what I'm gonna do so what I want to do is make an adapter so I can just get to the car plug this in lock it in place connect the maxi C the IM608 and do the job and the reason why I have these mechatronics here that I've showed you just a minute ago is because we're gonna try in the end make sure it works because I don't want to go somewhere to do the job and it doesn't work so we're gonna have to get that done uh, here and test it um, and that's about it really so I'm gonna take you through the bits uh, through how it's done uh, not rocket science really obviously you need the tool then able to do this but it's gonna make my life so much easier the next time I need to go and do one so with no further ado guys I'm gonna show you the connections how the connections are done uh, which uh, I will put it somewhere here um, you might not be able to see but I'll take you through uh, bits and bobs as we go along through all the connections where, where everything goes <laughs> and that's about it really so let's kind of get this done and hopefully tested it and get it working 
Okay, so go rid of the bits that we're not going to need. This is going to be my cable. So quite a long cable, so I don't need to be that close to the car. Uh, wiring, obviously I've showed you the 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 picture with the connections. Um, I might post, I might put the picture here again somewhere. Um, and the connections are, uh, you need a power, you need a ignition, which is going to be this green. So this is going to be pin 13 on on here. It's going to be pin 13, pin 9, which is ignition, pin 13, pin 14 is ground. And then you have two can lines. I think this is all communication lines, if I'm not mistaken. You have two can lines and then something else that I can't remember now. We're, going, we're only going to use one can line, which is the can line that connects to pin 5 and 6, as you have seen probably from the diagrams. Uh, from the diagram and that's about it really and where are we going to connect this to we're going to connect this to this to this obd port there we go okay so that's where we are going to connect this uh still one little thing that we need to do but we will get there so let's kind of connect these now solder everything in place and go from there okay all the connections are made um i decided to put a switch which we're gonna wrap somehow into the loom. Uh, don't forget your 120 ohm resistor for the for the CAN network. And uh, but before I do the the, the rest, obviously we have here the power for the jack. Um, before we do anything, let's gonna connect it to the gearbox and see if it's working. Okay, and I'll take you quick through. So that's connected in there. Comes all the way. There's power here to obviously power. The module, the switch, then connects to the OBD, it comes all the way up to the interface. The interface is connected through USB to the IM608. So let's kind of put this more, uh, okay, a little bit less thingy. Okay, so let's kind of go back and switch on. You can stray away here a click inside the mechatronics. Let's just get the gearbox information. And with no doubt, there is. VIN number and everything, EGS type, blah, 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 blah. So let's kind of go back. Uh, EGS status, will he get me there? There we go, look at that. EGS unlock, ISN cleared. You see? Uh, because like I said, I've done this one um, I've done this one in there uh, before I tried the one on the actually car, but we have communications with the gearbox uh, I don't think I can go and do much more really What's that clear code? Six six DTCs. Let's clear the DTC There's still, there's still three DTCs. Obviously, we will always be DTCs. Um, reset adaptations. You can reset the adaptations here. So if I turn ignition off. Although this switch doesn't turn off only the ignition. He actually turns everything off, which probably is not ideal. Um, but yeah, guys, is is working. So I could, I guess, I could now go again and try to do the reset. But there is no point because, guys, we have communication, so there is no reason why this won't work. And it's going to make my job so much easier the next time I need to do this. It's going to be literally literally plug and play still i want to make that look obviously better i don't want this like this uh, and I, that's what i'm going to do next and then whoa what's wrong with this chair uh, and then i will show you the the final result okay guys all done so as you can see now is one cable this is how i finished the off okay just with tape insulation tape you don't need more than this i put the switch in, in the middle so the connection there obd that's gonna do one last try. Just read the box. So hold on, because it's gonna be way too far for you to, for you guys to see what's going on. So OBD. 
power. Now, on. We have voltage in there. It's gonna do this again. Of course, that will never work. Duh. Try this again. There we go. All done. It's gonna see uh, the status again. There he is, guys. So, job done. I know it's nothing special, but who knows if someone that is doing these more uh, often than, than, than I am. I'm not doing this very often, but. This will surely help to speed up the process because it makes things much, much easier. So, with no further ado, guys. Oh, come on, get out. With no further ado, let's kind of finish this video. Um, and yeah. I believe this cable is only for the 8 HP. I don't think it fits the 6. Uh, I want to do the same for the 6. Uh, although I believe the 6 needs to be done on the car. Some of them. So for now I'll leave it with this. Then we'll see when I come to do a 6 HP. Maybe I get a plug like this. We'll see how it goes. And that was it for this video guys. So I know nothing special. I just thought to share this with you. Why not? Um, and that's it. Uh, well, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you um, you have learned something, maybe. Um, guys, if you do have any questions, any comments, uh, please put them below. Um, hope you enjoyed the video, and like always, thanks for watching.